Fall is here, friends, so let's talk all things fall shoe trends. If you are shopping for some new shoes this season or just want to know what's in style right now, keep watching. We're going to get right into it in today's video. As always, everything is going to be linked in the description box below. There's also chapters linked, so if you're looking for a particular trend, you can skip to that as well. So anyways, let's get started with the first hot trend for fall 2022, and that is mules. Now, Mules isn't exactly a new trend. I know you've seen it before, and when you think of mules, you probably think of the ever so popular Steve Madden mules and the Gucci mules, just like an easy go-to slide type shoe. But these are really versatile and still going strong for fall. So you'll see some with a little bit of heels. You'll see different like elegant pairs. I really like this open edit pair. They're like feminine, they have beautiful details. I actually bought them for myself during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Unfortunately, they didn't fit and I couldn't find my size to exchange them. But this is a great example of a more updated mule for fall that would look great with jeans as well. Again, I just think this is a really versatile trend that you might wanna try for the season. The next trend that's really hot for fall 2022 is ballet flats. Yes, you heard that right. That early 2000s trend of ballet flats is definitely back. We saw it at Prenza Schooler, we saw it at Miu Miu. It was definitely prominent on the runways. So if you love love a good ballet flat, then you should definitely be excited for this trend. Now, one of my current favorites is from a brand called Vivea, who is partnering with me for this portion of today's video. They make some absolutely gorgeous shoes and they're an eco-friendly, sustainable brand. Everything from the packaging to the shoes themselves are made of recycled materials. In fact, the shoes are made of plastic recycled water bottles, but they are very elegant. They are very comfortable and just truly beautiful quality craftsmanship. Some of the ones I like in particular are the Aria flat. I think this one is very, very elegant. The almond toe, by the way, and the pointy toe is definitely right on trend for fall. These shoes are perfect for jumping on that trend. Something else I really like is that they have shoes accessories. And like, why wouldn't I have accessories for my shoes? I think this idea is just absolutely brilliant. They have the cutest little bows that you can buy to accessorize your flats and you can wear them like a variety of different ways. You can buy tons of different bows and just clip them on wherever you see fit. I think this is such a fun, cute idea and like a great way to get many different styles out of one pair of shoe. Now I was able to get a great discount code for you guys. It is Marlene15 for 15% 15 off anything on the Vivea website. So definitely check that out in the description box below. I'm loving that it's sustainable footwear. They are beautiful and comfortable and I'm sure you'll find something you'll love. The next fall shoe trend may or may not surprise you because it keeps coming in and out of style, although I would argue that this one is kind of permanent, and that one is over the knee boots. For whatever reason, last year and the year before, over the knee boots kind of were like no longer fashionable. I'm not really sure why, but it feels like most fashion women just decided to pass on this shoe. Now, all of a sudden, they are like back with a vengeance and everywhere. So while we took like basically a nap on the trend, it's definitely back and I'm here for it because I feel like this is such an easy shoe to style for fall. Put on a sweater dress, put on a cute skirt and like a light top and it's like an easy go-to everyday outfit formula. So this is one I'm definitely fond of seeing on the fall shoe trend list. All right, this next trendy shoe may or may not surprise you and it's not my personal favorite, but you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think of this trend and that's clogs. Love them or hate them, clogs are in. And we're seeing all kinds of clogs. Yeah, you think of like the wooden clogs, but there's also studded clogs, there's flat clogs, there's heeled clogs, there's clogs like everywhere. In fact, I was really surprised, but I don't know, maybe again I'm wrong, to see that every mom called clogs like the cool mom shoe. And if you wanna look like a cool mom look, Throw on some clogs with wide leg jeans. Let me know what your thoughts are about that. I personally don't feel like the cool mom look is clogs, but you know, to each their own. If you're really into this trend, then it's definitely the season to be wearing them. This next shoe trend is one that I'm excited about and we saw it last year as well, and that is loafers. I've always been a fan of the classic penny loafer. I feel like this is such a cute and preppy style. 
to be honest, I feel like this one is a definitely more classic out of some of the other ones on this list and has some stain power. I have really fond memories of wearing my loafers with like button downs and wide leg jeans. And I think it was like the 90s or early 2000s. And you can style them likewise this year. Now this season and last season, we saw some with like thick chunky lug soles, but there are other options if you don't like the lug sole that might be more versatile for you. I also think this is a really wearable shoe trend because it's comfortable you know you can mix and match it with so many different things and it's definitely a cute look for fall this next trend is trend with a capital t let me know what you think about this trend in the comments below and that is cowboy boots now at first when i was seeing cowboy boots i was like i don't know if i'm into this or not i've personally never been a cowboy boots person but the whole Western wear feel, it's kind of got a vibe and I have to admit, it's growing on me. I love that there's so many different styles now. It's actually quite approachable as far as you don't have to wear a flat and it's got a little bit of heel. So a great way to update your millennial outfit, swap out your riding boots and leggings is to instead throw on cowboy boots and like a cute sweater dress. It's very, very easy, very versatile, comfortable. Again, I think it's a great like everyday look. You'll have to let me know your thoughts and if you are gonna dip your toe into this trend, I think I might. I actually rounded up some of my favorite cowboy boots right now, so I'll put them on the screen right now. I am lusting after this off-white pair. If you're into something with a little more bling, they have studded pairs. Like there's literally so many different kinds of cowboy boots and you know what? I'm in Arizona, so I feel like as an Arizona girl, it's a trend that I'm almost required to try. That being said, trend. I would stay on the lower end as far as this goes and not necessarily go designer because I don't feel like this one has much staying power. So you'll have to let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorites and which one of these is like not so much. I'd love to hear. While you're down there, don't forget to check out Vivea. I'm telling you, these shoes are so cute, very comfortable, high quality, and you may as well grab a flat since it's right on trend for fall. And this is definitely one to check out. I love that they're sustainable, eco-friendly, and 15% off, like why not? Thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you next time. Bye.